So what is the just world principle that you also talk about? And can you share an example or a case study of this yeah. term? Um, so the just world theory is a quite unfortunate um, phenomenon. It's actually good when you're a kid. I mean, that's how we grow up. We grow up to learn that if you're good, good stuff will happen to you. Like in you know, fairy tales or Disney movies, the good guy gets to marry the princess, which is a happy ending uh, for kids, and uh, the bad guy gets punished somehow. And, you know, it's good because they know, they, they learn about ethics. So even though I think kids are really good, uh, you know, when it comes to ethics, I'm always surprised. My nieces and nephews, I don't have kids, but I have nieces and nephews. And, uh, you know, they're really like three, four. They know what's right and wrong. I don't know how. I didn't teach them. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, so, but, you know, we tell them these stories and they're, they're part of our heritage, you know. And um, it's... In, deep in our uh, mind, we have this idea that you do good stuff, you know, and, you know, you're competent. You just do a good job and people will know. Uh, you, you, you don't have to do anything about it. Just do a good job. And, you know, it makes perfect sense. It seems so, but it doesn't. Because, you know, good work doesn't speak for itself. You can be the best in the world and nobody will notice. People will even think you're, you're an idiot. And that, that's... And, you know, when we're older, we kind of realize that. And yet, I have it. I see it in my trainings and, uh, all, you know, all the time that people say, you know, I, I just want to do a good job and my boss will see how good I am. My client will see how good I am. The yeah, answer is no. It's like uh, Chester Carras famously said, uh, in a negotiation, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. That's, that's it, you know. And uh, that's the thing you just have to realize. We have to overcome this just world hypothesis in our mind that, you know, I'll get what I deserve. No, you won't. Do people also have to apply a bit of that squeaky wheel concept also to get recognition? Well, um, you know, it's up to you what you apply, basically. It's, I mean, th th that, that book uh, is, is like a manual. I don't use all these techniques myself, you know. Some of the techniques I, I don't like. Uh, they don't fit my personality, and authenticity really is key. So basically, what you, you know, you just look at the dynamics, you understand them, and a lot of stuff you just have to understand, that's it. And then your behavior will change once you understand some principles, like the just world theory. Once you know that this is a serious problem, I think next time you will think, ah, oh, I'll get what I deserve. Well, you will think probably not, probably not. And so it's just enough to understand. So it's not that I have to, okay, I have to change this, this, this. Not really. Uh, just be, you know, uh, you know, just know what's, what's going on and then your behavior will automatically change.